Hey guys, my name is Caden. Welcome to this video on how to sell and list shoes quickly on Goat. Let's get right into this. First thing, obviously, is you have to download the Goat app. I'm pretty sure you only have to give them an email to make an account, but that's all you need to do. On top of that, I highly recommend downloading their seller app, which is called Alias. It's a lot easier to understand, and there's way more data rather than just what Goat provides. Understanding how to use Goat is super crucial because if you don't, you're going to be buying shoes that might not resell as well as you thought or you're gonna be skipping on shoes that could have resold. The first term you're gonna to need to know and understand is SKU. Now I don't recommend going onto GOAT to sell shoes, uh, it's more of a buying platform on their website, but it does tell you the SKU. So here's the SKU for any shoe. Any shoe you look up, it will tell you the SKU. That is basically the shoe identifier number. So it's a nine digit code. That's what it is for this shoe. Typically for Nike shoes, SKU starts out with two letters followed by four numbers and then a final three numbers as well to identify the colorway. Each brand has different SKUs, so you have to kind of get to know the differences between a Nike and a New Balance and Adidas because they are different lengths and different ways they're typed out. But again, a quick tip, if you guys didn't know, the last three numbers of that code is the actual colorway of the shoe and the first six are the actual style code by the way the SKU is also really important because if you wanted to look this shoe up on a different website all you have to do is copy the SKU paste it on StockX, eBay, whatever that website is, and the same shoe will pop up. And that's also how we're able to look up shoes in store. So on every shoe box, there's the SKU. You can go look at it on the barcode. You can type it in, pull it up in store. So you can actually see in store how fast a shoe is selling for, the average price, everything. So you know all the data before you even leave the store. It's an actual example by looking up these eBay dunks, showing you what they go for, how you can check how quickly they sell, and deciding if it would be a good purchase or not. Real quick while we're still here, if you look right here on the size tag, the SKU is pretty visible to see, okay? Um, it is that nine digit number towards the Nike swoosh, as you guys can see. That's where you can identify the swoosh, or the SKU on any single shoe, doesn't matter the pair. Are my actual alias account, as you can see, uh, this is what it looks like. It'll tell you how many sales you have, your lifetime sales, everything, open orders. That's just what it looks like, okay? Here in open inventory, you can see you know how many shoes you have and whatever. You can see all this stuff there. Account, you can see how much money you have. So I have $2,800 in there right now. I can cash it out. Um, this charge credit, that's just me buying a shoe. So what you can actually do is use it to charge for shipping. So I paid 15 bucks to ship it. That's how much goat charges. Um, but yeah, Alias basically gives you the ability to look up any of these shoes. Here it'll show trending shoes. You're not really gonna use that. Instead, you're gonna use the top part right here, which is what you use to essentially look up SKUs. So I'm gonna look at the size tag of this shoe real quick, just so I can see the SKU. And the SKU is FD uh, 8777 and then 100. You don't have to do the dash, you don't have to do that even though it is there, uh, but that's basically it. So this is the right one. This right here that I have is a size 11. So I can actually go here and you guys can see it shows every single size, what they go for currently, right? And basically let me explain how this works, okay? So on the left column, right, that is where the sizes are. The second to left one is last sold. So that's the last price of sold, shoe sold for. So let's look at the size 11. Size 11 last sold for 211, 221, okay? That was the last sale. And when I click it, you guys can actually see all the different details on this shoe as well. Um, you can see the different sales. You can see the ones that were consigned, which means it was at GOAT when it sold. And you can see the prices are drastically different. That's why we teach GOAT consignment because you can actually sell stuff for higher. Anyways, it also show you the price changes. So you can see all the different demands here. It's very, very simple graphs. Um, you know, related to that. There's also offers. So offers will show the bids. That's what that green is on the far right. So you guys can see someone is bidding 162. That means if I click this button, I can sell it right now at this price and it'll tell you how much you're gonna get cashed out for. I don't ever recommend really accepting bids guys because you end up leaving yourself short, but hey, that's what it can do as well. Um, then on top of that, the lowest right here, this will actually show you the lowest price available for the shoe. So that is what someone is selling it for, okay? If I wanted to list this shoe, I would click start listing. I would choose the size, size 11, new, it's good box, right? You would choose all the conditions of what it is and then you can adjust your price on what do you want it to be, okay? I always recommend being the cheapest price unless someone is listed way below. So this guy's listed way below everyone else, right? I would put it right here and let that guy sell because once he sells, I'm the next price. That's all you need and then you're gonna make you know an extra $20 because this guy's priced way low. And trust me, it will sell because one just sold literally two days ago, today's 27th, one sold two days ago for 221, okay? So this shoe will sell you just have to wait sometimes and get, be, be patient. This guy's losing money because he's not waiting, okay? But that's how you would list the shoe. I would go to next, then you would just do ship once sold and then your shoe is gonna be listed. Again, I don't wanna list this shoe, so I'm not gonna do that part, but that's the simple essence of it. A thing that is really valuable as well is you can see all the previous sales, you can see how quickly it sold, you can see everything. It'll tell you the SKU, it'll tell you the real estate, everything about the shoe. So when I'm in store, I will look up the SKUs, I will go look at the different shoes that are listed on here, and then with that, 
you can go through here and decide if the shoe is good or not. It'll tell you again, all the fees that you need to know, how much money you're gonna make. It's very, very simple, okay? And that's all the fees with Goat. The cool thing with Goat as well, guys, and this is what I recommend with selling, always match the lowest price. So unlike StockX, you have to be the lowest price for your shoe to sell first. Goat, you just have to match it. This is huge because it helps uh, basically improve undercutting. So there's basically no undercutting, it gets rid of it. So you can list your shoe. Let's say this one's listed at, you know, size 11 and a half is listed at one, uh, 228. You can just list your shoe at 228 and you have the same odds of selling the guy uh, your shoe at the same price as the guy who had it listed there even before you okay so that's what i always recommend doing i never really recommend lower the lower, lowering the price um below be below the lowest price because there's really no point you just lower the market while you do that okay so that's the simple guide on listing on goat you can do that it's very simple once you ship it out um, you know, you end up getting paid. So yeah, that's kind of the process with it. Now to kind of wrap this up, when you sell a shoe, you'll actually get an email from Goat. You have to confirm that order. Then upon that, you'll get a secondary email. In that secondary email, it would have a QR code and as well a shipping label. You'll take that QR code, you'll put it inside the shoe box and you'll box up your shoe in a secondary box and slap on the shipping label. And then you just ship it to basically ups if you want tracking ask for tracking at the store they will give you a receipt with the tracking number there's no real point to track the order because goat kind of does it for you and i've never lost a package and i've sold 2200 pairs on goat so i've never had an issue with them but yeah once your shoe gets to Goat, in probably about a day or two they'll authenticate it if everything's good if it's listed as described you'll get paid out that's it no refunds no returns nothing another extra quick disclaimer to be aware of goat score your score, your seller rating will increase by two points each shoe that you sell, okay? So it'll increase by two points. If you fail a shoe, meaning you ship in the wrong shoe, you make a mistake, whatever it is, you you, you, you know, you cancel an order, you don't ship it in on time, whatever, your score will drop by 10 points. You must say above 90 points. If you go below it, it doesn't make sense at all to sell on GOAT because your fees go crazy high. You're essentially getting penalized for just making a big mistake. So with that being said, make sure when you're selling on GOAT, you keep your seller rating at least above 100 just so you're in that safe area. Okay, my seller rating, I think as you guys saw, is above 1,000, so I have no problems at all. That's because I've sold so many shoes on GOAT. But if I wanted to you know, make a mistake, if I couldn't ship a shoe on time, that's fine, right? I can I can afford to lose points. So you can afford to lose points if you have higher, higher points. If you don't, don't risk it. Also, if you just start your account, I believe they make you take photos of the shoes for your first five listings. After that, you don't have to take any photos at all. So it's way easier. I love GOAT because I showed you guys how simple it is. When you're good at it, you click three buttons, you can list multiple shoes at once. It takes no time and you can sell stuff really quickly. When you cash out your money on GOAT, I recommend sending it to your bank rather than your PayPal. It gets there a whole lot quicker and you don't have to worry about PayPal being weird and locking up your money, which they have done in the past for me. So yeah, that's basically the breakdowns to selling on GOAT. If you guys wanna hear more about consignment and GOAT consignment, which I talked a little bit about in this video, Watch this next video over here. It's gonna break down everything you need to know about GOAT consignment and how you can make more money for doing less work. GOAT does all the work for you. It's pretty crazy. Other than that, guys, hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe.